How am I? So lovely of you to ask. I am tired. I am stressed. I am um, exhausted. I am overwhelmed. I am weary. I am anxious. I am... Are there other words for tired? Just just give me a second. Um, I am uh, beat, bushed, burned out, collapsing, consumed, done in, drained, drooping, empty, enervated, enfeebled, faint, fatigued, finished, flagging, haggard, knackered, lethargic, limp, overtaxed, pooped, prostrated, sapped, sleepy, spent, stale, wasted, and worn. Hello, my name is Nell, and usually I have things to say about disability, chronic illness, mental health, and occasionally current events, but today I have things to say about me and the channel. Um... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing too good. I'm, I'm not doing too good. Uh, a couple of months ago, or maybe six months ago, or maybe last year, I honestly can't remember. I shared in a vlog that the doctor who was helping me manage my chronic fatigue syndrome and Lyme disease had been banned from doing so. Uh, the big bad thing he did was treating people with Lyme disease treatments that weren't approved by the Australian government. Uh, the big sneaky trick there is that there are no Lyme disease treatments approved by the Australian government. So what the hell is he supposed to do? Um, so he was no longer t able to have his private practice and treat people like me. As a result of that, some of the things that he gave me that specifically helped with my fatigue, um, such as low-dose naltrexone, a compounded supplement, and um, dexmethasone, which is a very low-dose um, steroid, I don't have them. I haven't had them for about a year and I'm struggling. I am struggling to manage both my day-to-day -day life, just getting out of bed, just doing the things that I want to do during the day, and the commitments that I have throughout the week. Something's got to give. And when I look at everything that I'm doing, that something has to be YouTube. That something has to be YouTube. I have to look at what I'm putting into everything and then what I'm getting out of things. And you know, there are things that I, I really need to put my energy and my effort and my love into. My partner and I run a gaming group, a Warhammer group in our area. Every Wednesday we go into town and we are at this group for like four hours, five hours. That has been exhausting, doing that without any fatigue support. I started drinking coffee. I started drinking coffee, which I have never done in my entire life. I started drinking it and I was drinking it so much that I made myself sick and now I can't drink it anymore because it makes me sick. Thanks, Australian government. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I've been doing that with no fatigue support. I've been learning guitar and I really need to focus on that for my future music stuff. Um, I want to stay committed to my Bible study. That's really important to me. There are a lot of things in my real world, day-to-day -day life that I want to do. Um, want to keep up with sewing, want to keep up with those hobbies. And when I look at YouTube and what I'm doing here, I have about 900 subscribers or something like that. But when I put out a video, which often I've spent hours writing a script and then I set aside a day for filming and for editing, I put it up and maybe 40 people watch it. So I'm putting a lot of love and energy and effort into this, but the message isn't really getting that far at the moment with the reach I have. And I need to really focus on the things that I'm getting a lot out of and other people are getting a lot out of. I am active on TikTok. I've found that with TikTok, it requires less preparation. I don't need to write a script. I often do things on a day when I've already got makeup on from something else. So I don't need to set aside a day to put a face on. And I can just easily put something up there. And there is a wider audience. So if I have a message that I really want to share... I can share it on there and it is getting further. So that is something I'll continue doing. I've got my um, my TikTok handle up on the screen. It's the underscore Nell underscore Tyler. Um, so if you have TikTok, follow me on, the, on there. I might even just share my TikToks on YouTube. <laughs> Cross-platform sharing, it means that I can still be on here and um, not really be doing all the extra prep. But yeah, I I've just been finding that sometimes during the week coming up to a Wednesday fortnight, I've been telling myself I have to film for YouTube. I have to do something for YouTube because I have committed to sharing something every fortnight. None of you guys are clamoring for it. If I miss something, I don't have people like 
commenting, where's your next video, Nell? People don't really notice. Um, so it is just a, a responsibility that I've set on myself and then I put pressure on myself if I don't fulfill it. And I really can't handle that at the moment. So I just need to, um, yeah, I need to just chill out. <laughs> I need to chill out. Yesterday, I started playing a new game. It's called Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. It's just this fun little sim game. You just wander around this little world trying to complete a little story and you collect animals and do farms and meet friends. And I played it for like five hours. I'd had a stressful day and I just played this game for like five hours in the afternoon and evening. And at the end of it all, Mull was like, did you like the game? I said, yeah, but I realized I hadn't practiced guitar that day or the day before. And that's bad. I hadn't practiced guitar. And he's like, can't you just, can't you just have a good time playing a game and not think about all the responsibilities you didn't fulfill? Can't you just, can't you just not work? And I said, no. <laughs> of course I can't just let myself enjoy a good time and not be obsessing over all the things I should have done and could have done and didn't. That's just the way I work. But if I stop considering something a responsibility like YouTube, then I won't be constantly pressuring myself of I need to write a script and I need to set aside a filming day. It's just i got to stop that pressure. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not well. My pain is off the charts. Winter is not kind to me. My fatigue is not well managed. And as much as I could like turn this into a video about, hey, let's talk about managing fatigue. No, I can't. I'm living it too much right now. So... That's where I'm at. I'm not well. The channel has to take a backseat to my life right now. I still need to find a nutritional and environmental doctor. Hard to find. I thought I found one. And then by the time I found him, he was only doing the medicinal cannabis stuff, which what a world where that seems safer than doing nutritional and environmental medicine and treating Lyme disease. Wow. I'm not good. I'll still post stuff on YouTube, but it will be very much when I'm ready. If I need to take a month to work on something, that's better than me pushing myself, I think. Yeah, that's where I'm at. All right. Um, please continue, though. Continue watching my content. I have like hundreds of videos. I've been here for four and a half years. So please continue watching my content, commenting on there, sharing it with people who would be interested in it. Um, yeah, just keep keep doing that. I'm still, I'm still going to be here. I'm still here. And I still got lots of stuff for you to watch. So thank you. Thank you for watching and for learning with me. Um, I hope you all stay as safe and as happy as possible. Much love and bless.